comments. Let me know what you think. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. In today's video, we're on the coast of Lake Superior at Muskelong State Park. I probably didn't say that right, so feel free to leave some comments, but we are rock hunting. Check it out. Come <laughs> Good boy, come on, Tommy. <laughs> Dude, it's cold. <laughs> come on, buddy. Good boy! What do you think of this place? Michaela? It's very cold. Huh? And then it's cold. Of the rock? The rock's pretty cool. The rock's cool? He's an awesome WWE wrestler. <laughs> what about the beach? It's, it's hard to walk it's, on. It's hard to walk on. If the rocks are going to hurt your feet, so if you have water shoes, make sure you pack them. Oh, he has water toys in the camper, too. Maybe, uh, Nick, can you find me a stick? It's right there. Hi to everybody from the beach on the rocks of the state park. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. <laughs> So it's our last day here in the UP and it's been awesome. It's been amazing. I hope the kids have enjoyed it. They seem like they have. Um, we've enjoyed the beach, we've enjoyed the water, we've enjoyed waterfalls. Man, trails, hiking. Dirt roads. Dirt roads, a lot of dirt roads. If you're ever up here um, going to a couple of the state parks. Um, Kippy Itikichi is, um, I said it right. Did you, I say it right? You, no. Kitch, itty, kitch itty, itty Kippy. That's what you said. Gosh, I can never get that right. I think that's what he said. But anyways, it's like eight miles of gravel road out there. Yep. So. And then we went to um, Little, is it Little Whitefish? Laughing. Oh, laughing Whitefish laughing Falls. Laughing Whitefish Falls. And that was like 17 miles down a dirt road. Yep. A dirt gravel road. So if you want to go anywhere, you're going to hit a gravel road at some point. Yes, don't be scared or alarmed. It's okay. I turned on the first gravel road and she was like, ah, we're on vacation, go for it. Go with it. And I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> now, downside is there is also no internet service or None. cell service. Verizon is so spotty up here, but AT&T is the, the service we have in the truck. And I don't know if it's because the truck's antenna is bigger or what, um, but it had really good uh, service almost the entire time. Yeah. Where Verizon had nothing, the truck had like three, three out of four bars. So that was good. That yeah. helped us get home. <laughs> it helped us find the map. <laughs> yeah. The, this campground has been amazing. Um, we didn't really do a review on this one. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just spaces. I say it's just like an open field with a bathhouse. With a bathhouse um, in the middle. In the middle, but. It's got 70, I think 71 spaces, and they're all pretty much big red friendly. Um, a few sites are a little harder to level. Yeah. Uh, it's called Pitcher Rock RV Park. Yeah, Pitcher Rock RV Park. Pitcher Rock RV Park, and they've only been around for three years as of today. Um, they, they have laundry facility and ice and wood on site, and if you're wanting some after hours they have a little box on the wall that you can just put your money in um 
So it's the honor system. Bring bug spray. Lots of bug spray. Mosquitoes um, are pretty bad. Uh, a, a youper, which is what they refer to themselves as, uh, as up here, um, said that they have two seasons, nine months of snow and three <laughs> months of skeeters. So, and I believe it. <laughs> And then as you can see, it's starting to get dark on our end. Um, just so that you know, the sun rises around a quarter to six in the morning and doesn't set until after 10 o'clock. So it's, it is yeah. 9.32 right now as we're talking to you. And, and we're actually in the shadow because the sun's setting behind us, behind the RV, but we've got plenty of daylight around uh, it, still. It's probably not going to be dark until almost 11. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's it's almost 11 o'clock before it's completely so dark. It's a little bit different than at home. At home, it's like already dark. <laughs> yeah, and when we uh, when we go to, we're like, hey, what's, what are we gonna have for dinner? Oh, it's it's nine o'clock already. Yeah, we didn't even realize that we were hungry because um, <laughs> normal dinner time it's still bright and sunny. But yeah, I think this has been probably one of my favorite experiences so far. Yeah, Lake Superior is by far the best of the Great Lakes. Like, yeah, we've we... been to almost all of them. Well, he's been to all of them. I've been to almost all of them. And I've thoroughly enjoyed Lake Superior. Lake Superior. Yeah, it it is, it's cold. It's very cold. But like today on the beach where we were in um, Muskelong Lake State Park, um, the water was great. Like we got in and it was it was okay. And you know, it was a little yeah. chilly at first, but then you kind of warm up to it. Which of course we didn't go swimming. We didn't actually, we didn't even bring our swimming suits. I would have. I, I didn't wearing, realize I was we gonna go swimming. We were wearing blue jeans and tennis shoes for hiking. So we just took our shoes and socks off and hiked up our pants. <laughs> so. Threw the sticks into the water and watched <laughs> Comet chase it. <laughs> Comet had a blast. Luna wanted in the water some kind of bad. But then she felt it on her belly and turned around. <laughs> she made a U-turn. Come on, Lou. Come here, Lou. Good girl, Lou. Come on, Lou. <laughs> she would not go all the way but in. But she would, she would like just dunk her head in the water trying to grab rocks. It was the they, funniest they thing. They like to, like Nicholas likes to skip rocks. I don't know if you've, you know, if y'all have noticed that on any of these videos. He loves to skip rocks and Luna likes, Luna and Comet both like to chase the rocks as he throws them. Um, so it's the funniest thing ever. I don't know why they do it they just they like to do it and we enjoy watching them so <laughs> yeah this is our last night here we are off to indiana elkhart and we're going to take a grand design tour but yeah we're excited to keep this trip going also we signed up for harvest hosts yes. um so we're going to try that for the first time not that we have a generator or that we are <laughs> we're not prepared. remotely prepared <laughs> for staying overnight without power we but have nothing but one the one battery that came on the rv so we will see how it goes it's part of the adventure we'll get yeah, it we might not have battery to get the slides back in but we'll see yep all right well i think that about does it yeah i think so too I think I'm, this, I think I'm really sad to be this leaving. adventure's over it's definitely not going to be the last one though no it's well, not the last adventure so but if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you really liked it make sure you subscribe ring to, the little bell ring the bell until the next strange adventure keep making your own bye